guys welcome back to the Sullivan Pursuit it's been a while but since I just tested positive and I'm isolating I figured I'd have some time to work on some videos so this is my time in Kenya in October and I'm really excited to share it with you and hopefully get back in the groove of doing more of these videos <laughs> So I start my week in Kenya in the main city of Nairobi. Here's the Kibera slums. And then I move into Karen, which is a really nice area, a little bit outside the city center. Um, it's really close to a lot of the attractions like the Giraffe Center, which is amazing. They even had a baby, which was so cute. Um, they don't release their giraffes back into the wild because they just form a really core group of family, but it's, it's really amazing. Another amazing, place that's similar is the David Sheldrick's Elephant Orphanage. It's absolutely incredible and unlike the Giraffe Center, they're actually able to release these elephants into the wild, into herds as they grow older. So generally only the babies stay here unless it's like an extreme case. You're able to adopt an elephant for $50, which is really cool so you can kind of get their updates and I really recommend everyone take a look at it. You are only allowed to go see them for one hour every Saturday. Other than that, the babies are able to do their own thing and they're very protective in little bomas at night and they love each other. After spending a little time in Nairobi, I'm on a journey to the Maasai Mara on the newly tarmacked road, which is great because it used to take five hours and now it only takes about three and a half. So it's a really cool drive. You see lots of native culture. You see lots of like the Maasai tribesmen with their animals and it's just a really cool drive. And I think it's better than flying because you get to see a lot more. Our first couple days in the Maasai Mara were quite rainy, which was actually kind of cool because I've never gotten to see the Maasai Mara in rain. And the animals just react completely differently to the rain and you get to see them in a different ecosystem and habitat than they normally are in the dry, arid. Although the rain makes the animals slightly uncomfortable, it's actually very healthy for the cycle of life. As the grass grows, the zebras and wildebeest are able to eat that and get healthier than the lions and the other Predator animals are able to eat healthier, more meated and fattied up prey. Just imagine rolling out of bed, getting into your Jeep, and coming upon this. A pride of lions right at the peak of sunrise. There was a family, a pride, and a mating pair. It was just absolutely incredible to see. And you never know what you're gonna get on safari. Every single day is different. absolutely one of my favorite memories from Kenya. We were out in the bush um, having dinner and like lodge staff and cooks had come 
and um, there was five of us on kind of like a research trip for our jobs and they started singing and dancing around the fire and we had to go around the fire and pick the best singer based on like putting a spear in front of them which would cement them as our choice so I, I went and I picked this one guy who was just like really giving it his all and he was so happy so cool um, if you see him, he's actually the one in the one big white hat with the tan shirt um, in the next videos. And then I didn't want my guide to feel left out. So a little bit later, I put a spear in front of him just to make him feel better. And like, I didn't realize it would cause a competition, but it did. And so the two started singing in front of me and I had to pick one. And so I picked the young guy because... I don't know, I just thought it, like he deserved it because he was just really putting his all into it. And then he was so happy and he picked me up and like it was just really cute and like wholesome and i just really like authentic experiences like those so yeah it was just i loved it it was one of my favorite nights in kenya so enjoy some of the maasai singing and traditional like throat noises <laughs> We did have to chase the zebras off the runway so that the plane could land safely, so that was definitely an experience. Um, they were very confused because normally the vehicles are very good about not interacting with the animals. Um, but yeah, the plane landed. It was my first light aircraft. It was incredibly terrifying. Wasn't sure if I was going to make it. Had to take 13 more on this trip, but it had two female pilots, so that was really cool for East Africa. Huge progression. Thank you so much for watching. Um, while I'm in isolation, I'm going to try and create some more videos and get them out. And yeah, I get back into the groove of things, trying to put one out consistently. Um, so I'll be working on a couple Tanzania videos. I have one from kind of the northern, like more famous circuit. And then one from like a remote island swimming with whale sharks. So I'm really excited to put that together. And yeah, I have a lot of travel plans coming up next year. So I have Belize, which I'm going postponed into January, February time, probably February. And then Vegas early January. And then Mauritius in April and South Africa, of course. And yeah, 
yeah, the world is my oyster. So hopefully we can start going. And um, if COVID does become a huge thing again, I am going to keep traveling as safely as possible and keep you guys updated so you're able to go through this journey with me and I can give you like tips and tricks for like testing because at this point I'm definitely getting a lot of experience about traveling during these times. So yes. All right. Looking forward to it. Cheers and see you soon. Bye.